To grow your career, you need to focus on two things, getting better at writing software and actively building your career. But with so many different books out there, which ones do you read? Well, here's two that I think are really worth your time. Not tens of books that you should read, but two very specific focused reads that are really actionable. So here we go. A big question I found myself asking was, what does good software even look like? How do I write good code? That's why I stumbled on A Philosophy of Software Design by John Ousterhout. I think that's how you say it. In it, he talks about something that really hit home, the idea of a tactical programmer. Tactical programmers, he says, are developers who jump in, get features working fast, and move on. They don't always think about the best design, and that's definitely me. And it's something that a lot of early career developers fall into. We're so focused on getting something working that we don't understand working code isn't enough. As Ousterhout put it, your job as a developer is to create code that others can work with easily. And really that job boils down to reducing complexity. Things like change amplification, where if you change something somewhere, you have to change stuff in other places. Cognitive load, the idea that you have to hold so much in your brain while you're working on something that it makes it complex. Or unknown unknowns, things you don't know you need to know to work on a task. Here's the thing, as a junior developer, every line of code you write is probably gonna be reviewed by a more senior member of the team. So eventually you have to start thinking about, is it easy to write, is it easy to work with, and is it clear? That's when you start shifting from being a tactical programmer to being a strategic programmer. I won't spoil the rest of the book, it's only about 200 pages, uh, I'd really recommend it, and I'd also recommend reading Clean Code to compare it against, because these two books in parts definitely are opposites of each other, and there's really interesting places that you can think about where your philosophy of software engineering fits in between those two. And the other one's the Software Engineer's Guidebook. It's written by the author of the Pragmatic Engineer newsletter, which is a massive software engineering newsletter, and it emphasizes one thing over everything else. You have to take ownership over your own career because no one's gonna care about it as much as you do. This guidebook gives you a broad, honest look at every part of the job and how you can grow within it, it's especially helpful because it's not just coding stuff, it talks about the industry as a whole. It's a great book to return to again and again, especially as you grow in your career. It talks about senior and staff, but I'd really recommend the first two sections of the book. Part one, developer career fundamentals, helps you understand your career, the industry, and how you can navigate through it. Part two is the competent software developer. This part digs into the habits and mindset that really matter as a software engineer, learning how to unblock yourself, be known as someone who gets stuff done, and balancing exploring new things with getting your core responsibilities done. What makes this book stand out to me is that it's concrete and actionable. It's not something you have to read front to back, instead you can jump around to the bits that are relevant to you, depending on where you're at in your career. With these two books though, it's important to engage with what you're reading. There isn't a book out there that's going to automatically make you a better engineer, but if you read through the book chapter by chapter, and find stuff you think's useful, try and apply it in your own work. Don't rush through them, read them chapter by chapter to see if you can really apply it in your code. If you find that you can't really engage with it within your work, you can try and read summaries, uh, podcasts. There's a podcast I really like called Book Overflow, which goes into depth on both of these books and discusses them. Or you can make flashcards like I did, which I'm not sure really helped. Uh, but whatever you do, make sure you put the work in as well as reading the books. Anyway, I've been Owen from work. Thanks.